Today on Review This Thing, we're going to pattern test six different TSS loads with this Winchester SXP Longbeard 20 gauge and the Kix Goblin Thunder 560 choke. This is Robbie with Review This Thing, and we're going to take six different TSS loads, put them through this Winchester SXP Longbeard that we've topped off with the Williams Gun Sight LRS low reflex sight and see how they perform with this Kix Goblin Thunder 560 choke. Hopefully by now you've watched several of our other tests with this gun and you know that we've been really impressed with how it's shooting. Mm -hmm. Today's testing will be very similar to our other videos. All of these loads are nine shot and we're shooting them at 40 yards. First up, Viper ammunition. Can't see really good from here. The sun's a little different, but Let's go see what it looks like down there. That one's obviously shooting low and left. It's not sighted in for that choke tube, but still a really good pattern. As you can see, it definitely shot a little low, but we had 132 pellets in the six inch circle and 248 in the 10 inch circle. When we change choke tubes, it usually changes the impact of the pattern. So I'm gonna aim a little bit higher on this one. Let's use Foxtrot crushers next. That looks a lot better. I held right on his beak, and it looks like a lot of that pattern is in his head and neck. Oh, wow. I do believe that was a really good load for that joke. That's pretty impressive. This one turned out really good. We had 234 in the 6-inch circle and 384 in a 10-inch circle. That one looks really good. Here's the only factory TSS load in our test, the Fiocchi Golden Turkey. I can't tell, but it looks like it might have actually hit better where I aimed at. That load might be sighted in for right where we were at, but let's go see. And that one looks really good as well. And holding on his beak actually did pretty good. Might be just a little bit right, but it's pretty doggone close. And here we had 126 in the six inch circle and 239 in the 10 inch circle. Next up is Apex. These have done really well out of this gun. Adrian had an Apex green leaf that shot really good out of her 28 gauge. I think we may have some of those for the 20 gauge as well. So we might try those in some other testing. But either way, here we go with the Apex. <laughs> oh, wow. Can't even see his head anymore from here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I tell you what, this choke and this gun are really liking each other right now. Very few flyers. Most of the target, I mean, most of the load is literally right there in the target. It's funny to see the different loads. Some like that constriction, some don't. This Apex load, we had 200 pellets in the 6-inch circle and 310 in the 10-inch circle. Let's keep moving through them. Now we're going to go with Rogue ammunition. Now, this is still 9-shot, but it's about a quarter ounce lighter than the other Rogue loads we've been shooting. So I'll be interested to see how it does or if it's any different count. That one looks like it might have shot on target, maybe just a little bit right. Um, I've been holding right. Either way, it still looks good from here, so let's go see. So it did shoot a little bit right, and actually a little bit low compared to where I was aiming. But that's okay, we can fix that if that's what we're going to hunt with. Either way, that is a lot of pellets in a small area right there. 236 in the six inch circle and i'm pretty sure this is our first one with the load testing that we had 400 in the 10 inch circle and our last load for this kicks choke today is verdict you've seen these do well in our other videos 
Let's see what they'll do out of this kicks choke. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty easy to see right here. Looks like a lot of pellets in that turkey's head. Well, looks like I was slightly wrong. There's not a lot of pellets in that turkey's head, but there is a really lot of pellets in that turkey's neck. And for our last count today, six inch circle, we had 170, and the 10 inch circle, we had 288. So that kick's choke put three out of the six loads over that 300 pellet count. And we had our first one on the channel of a 20 gauge load having 400 pellets in a 10 inch circle. That's pretty awesome for sure. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you really like it, subscribe. Don't forget to come back because we're adding new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our kick stroke testing. If you really like what we do, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. Don't forget our Holler store, our Amazon store, and head over to ReviewThisThingTV.com and get signed up for our weekly newsletter.